Hello, my name is Pam Garrity, and I am the parent representative and community liaison for Triton Support Services. I'm involved with the community, and I'm always looking for parent feedback and taking that and growing our programs from there. I have noticed as I speak to more and more parents in the community, um, they have shared with me one of their main concerns for their child during these unusual learning times is regression. Regression in multiple areas. Um, some examples I have been given are refusing to complete task and an uprise in behaviors and anxieties. I'm sure everyone can relate there with the past year. Uh, regression shows up in all sorts of ways depending on the child, their age, and their learning needs. So I wanted to start this discussion and hopefully give some good tips to parents in need. The first one um, that usually comes up is the impact of virtual learning. Parents have expressed their concerns with keeping their child challenged, engaged, and on grade level. They want them learning and mastering new skills each school year, but feel that this past year has been at a standstill. Um, I have heard the need for additional education support in addition to their school day to keep them on track. And that's a lot, that's a lot to manage for families. Any additional education support um, you can offer them will help them feel more confident and avoid the feeling of falling behind. The second tip topic that I have been coming up, um, that's been coming up a lot lately for families is the lack of socialization with peers during virtual learning. So children are not being exposed to the outings they are used to on a regular basis. For example, like going to the grocery store, going to the library, going to the mall, dropping off clothes and saying hi to your local dry cleaner, <laughs> family outings to the zoo, SeaWorld. I know we're all missing it so much. Um, some children are not going to playgrounds and right now, and, and that's the places where social gatherings for kids um, happen and places like Chuck E. Cheese are closed down. So it doesn't leave parents with a lot of options. Some tips and ideas for the socialization piece are encouraging and helping your child reach out to their friends and family via FaceTime, video chats. You can make fun videos to exchange with one another. Um, you can use costumes and props and make it fun. I've heard of kiddos doing like lip sync battles and fun ideas like that. So you can get really creative with it. Um, over the past year, what we have all learned is the impact of social regression goes way beyond verbal communication. So I wanna emphasize the importance of modeling and practicing socialization in different ways, uh, how to share care for one another, different platforms, mediums of socialization, um, and things like writing, following recipes, um, socially distance hide and seek, you know, things of that nature. It can be something as small as writing a letter, um, the child, you can encourage them to write a, a letter to like a local nursing home or a thank you note to first responders, something like that. Again, share care, you know, for one another. Um, I've had fun stories where friends will pick a theme and they'll dress up for each other for their video calls. Like one day will be a disco day, you know, things of that nature. One day will be a superhero day. Um, they play games virtually as well, which is really neat. Um, I've heard of like 20 questions, bingo, categories, Pictionary, anything you can create together. Trivia, that's really fun to do too. And then stepping away from the virtual aspect of it for a minute, taking a break from the screen time. Um, you can write cards and letters to friends and family that um, you know, you're not able to see in person. Uh, in that card or letter, throw in some artwork, have your child do some cool pictures. You can add in fun recipes that maybe you and the family can try together and the kid can follow along with that and add that in as, um, you know, a nice little just token of care inside that letter. Um, so those are just some fun ideas. 
um, that families have shared with me that I wanted to share with you as well. Another cool idea is you can brainstorm with your child's teachers to help support the so socialization within the classroom during the virtual learning. So maybe they play one of those fun games that we discussed um, together during a learning break to help build and practice the casual conversation and appropriate social interactions um, that they're lacking, they're missing in that face-to-face -face time with each other. Um, if you are lucky enough to have children in your neighborhood, one idea I've heard is the social distance game of hide and seek um, during break or resource in a school day, or some um, kids I've heard are spending their video time chatting with pals while they eat lunch. So again, it's really encouraging that casual conversation and kind of playing pretend that they're not, you know, on virtual uh, call with each other. It's more let's act like we're in person having lunch together at school, trying to make it as normal as possible. The third topic that comes up is a child's motivation to stay on task. Um, some great feedback I've heard for helping with this is to create a daily schedule and routine for your child. You can create this together, maybe set time um, aside each weekend to plan the week ahead and hang it somewhere for them to see on a daily basis. That's really the key. Some fun ideas um, are you can move a magnet along the schedule as they complete a task, have them move it. You can do something like double-sided Velcro on their favorite action figure or a dinosaur, something like that, where they can move their item um, along as they go through their day. Uh, this will reassure them that they are on task and they will hold themselves accountable. This will also offer them a sense of control that they've had a say in their scheduling and how their day is gonna go. Um, building time into their schedule for regular school day activities, such as lunchtime, recess, breaks between subjects have been really helpful too, to kind of normalize the day, to really mock a, a traditional school day. Um, post the daily, the simple daily schedule in a place where they can see it. For younger kids, you can use pictures um, instead of words, you know, lunchtime, break, math, science, writing, you can do little pictures. There's, I know there's a ton on um, clip art and that free on the internet that you can just copy and paste and print out. Those I've heard have worked really well for the younger um, school age child. And you know, try to follow the schedule each day. If you have to adapt, you have to make adjustments, that's fine. None of us have like the perfectly planned out day. But what I've heard from families is just communicating those adjustments with your child so they still know what to expect. Okay, we made this, we swapped this, but why? And here's what we're gonna do so that they feel again in control and they're confident like they're on task and they're holding themselves accountable. Triton offers free parent activities uh, to support the child along this entire journey. So they are a fantastic resource because sometimes the topic may arise that a parent didn't even consider um, or think that would be applicable to their child. But once they take the course or they do the activity, they quickly learn that it can help and it does impact their family. And now they have more tools in their toolbox uh, to really support their child and set them up for success. So I really wanna emphasize uh, the free parent activities as a tip because we are constantly learning and growing with our families. And I have found them and heard from families that are very beneficial for many. Our team here at Triton can help with your child's area of uh, need and we offer amazing multidisciplinary evaluations to explore where those areas are. You know, sometimes it's something that we didn't even think of. Some families might have thought he doesn't need speech, but when it comes to his confidence and we do the evaluation, it really does benefit them to work that in with the OT and the educational therapy. So it is really neat to get the um, outside of the box perspective and connect all those dots. Don't forget also, don't forget to sign up for our free parent activities on our website. You will see so many resources on there. We now have virtual social clubs, writer workshops, and all kinds of fun activities, yoga, moving the body. Check it out. It's really cool. Um, the website is tritonsupportservices.com. And I really look forward to hearing more feedback, growing our programs and working together. So thank you so much for your time today.